Yup, it's that time again. You know, tutorial time. Hey, what's up everyone? Um, today I'm going to show you how you can create a custom brush here inside of Adobe Illustrator that gives you very, very nice line art. You know, line art that looks like you made it with a pen tool. Um, I know a lot of you know that the pen tool is pretty tedious and you don't want to use it all the time. So this is why you would want to use a brush instead. It gives you very nice line art that looks exactly like the pen tool there. So it's a pretty easy process and let me walk you through it. Um, first, set your fill to black. Do not use a stroke. Make sure your stroke is cut out. Then grab your ellipse tool. Next, on the canvas, make a very, very, very thin, I guess, ellipse or whatever you want to call it or a line just like this we can make that a little thinner yep just like that now select it and come over to your brush little menu right here and if you do not have your brush menu come over to your window tabs right here or tab did I say tabs <laughs> And then come down to, where is it, brush? Yeah, brushes, right here. Click brushes, make sure that it's checked. And now, now that you have this little line right here selected, come over here to this little drop down menu, select brush, new brush, and then come down to art brush. There, we have art brush selected. Press OK. Yes, we have this right here. And we want to name this. I want to find this. I want to name this mm, Jibber Jabber, you know, anything. I don't care because I'm going to delete it. And there we go. We have our new brush right there. So let me delete this line that we just made. So I'm going to select this brush right here. Only going to use the stroke. I'm going to grab my brush tool and voila, line art. There we go. We have created our own little custom brush here. Yippity doo dah. Now, there is a second method to getting line art using your brush. But this method only requires your tablet. So if you don't have a tablet that has, you know, pressure sensitivity, then this next method won't work for you. So you can probably just leave the video or make your brush already and get to work. <laughs> So yeah, this next way, this next method is pretty simple as well, and and it's pretty great. I've seen people use this method, and I mean, wow, it's crazy. I, I can't do it myself, but you can try this out yourself if you want to. Now, go back to your new brushes, create a new brush, and make sure this is selected. Press OK. Now, come down here. Come down and come down to this drop down menu and select pressure um, I'm going to set this to 2 and I'm going to set the variation to 2 as well now I just created my own brush here now this is kind of weird like you have to well it's not weird it's just you have to get used to it you gotta set your mind to doing it this way you, you can start very lightly you press down lightly on your on your um, tablet and then you press harder and that gives you that really nice line art you see I mean it's pretty tricky but you have to like get very used to it um, let's make this bigger um, you press lightly and then you come down hard you press lightly and you come down hard me I personally cannot do this as you can see <laughs> it's it's very tricky I don't know how some people can do it but hey my hat, my hat is off to you guys um if you if you can do this perfectly and not like mess up at all um then you're awesome i can't do it but that's the second way to do it um that's only with the tablet with the press the pressure sensitivity so yeah you can't do that with your mouse unfortunately ooh look at that that was nice <laughs> but yeah um line art it's pretty easy to do in here just like the pen tool oops it set itself back to one gonna 
whatever. Um, but yeah, do line art just like the pen tool. Um, it's pretty easy, and it saves you a lot of time, so you don't have to keep pressing points all over the place, which can be very, very tedious. I know because I'm an artist and I use the pen tool sometimes, and it's very, very tedious. Oh, well, I guess the pen tool is pretty all right to use if you're just going to ink a single picture. But if you have like a huge project, like a comic or something, then I suggest you use the brush tool. So yeah, um, I'm going to have this up, this brush up for download if you all want to use it, this line art brush. And I will also show you how you can install it as well. I will make a second video on how to install brushes into Adobe Illustrator and probably Photoshop as well because they're pretty much the same thing when it comes to installing brushes. So yeah, I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace out.